Hello guys, I am Usman Nuruddin, a prep class tutor. Welcome back to our section of learning with prep class. So today we are going to continue solving questions from Yugo Sugo Mathematics Past Question. In our previous videos, we've solved question 1 to 15. So please kindly check through and see how questions were solved. Remember to always leave your comment so as to know how you feel about our videos. If you have any questions, please kindly put it down in the comment section as well. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin today's work as we solve more questions from Yugo Sugo Mathematics Past Question. We have a graph. Study this graph carefully and answer the questions below. Now let's study this graph together. We have this graph. On the vertical axis, we have temperature. On the horizontal, we have days of the week. Now, Sunday is having a temperature of 10. Monday, a temperature of 30. Tuesday, a temperature of 20. Wednesday, a temperature of 40. Thursday, a temperature of 60. And Friday, a temperature of 20. Now we need to solve questions. The first question here is question number 16. Which of those days had the lowest temperature? Which of those days had the lowest temperature? A. Sunday. B. Wednesday. C. Monday. D. Thursday. And E. Friday. To answer this question, we have to use the table. And looking at the table once again, we have the lowest temperature to be 10, and that is for Sunday. So it means we've been able to answer that question using the graph. Now we say from the graph, the day with the lowest temperature is Sunday. The correct option is option A, Sunday. Now that's how simple it is when you have a graph and you have to and you have to pick your answer from the graph. Now let's look at the next question. What was the temperature on Friday? A, 35, B, 30, C, 60, D, 24, E, 40. From the graph, the temperature for Friday is 24. Let's look at the graph again. From the graph, here we have the temperature of Friday. But because from the option, there is nothing relating to 20, so we are going to pick the closest value to 20, which is 24, from the question. So that means the answer we are going to follow is 24. And the correct option is option D, 24. The next question, question number 18. Which of those days had the highest temperature? A. Monday, B. Thursday, C. Sunday, D. Friday, E. Wednesday. Also, to answer this question, we will still have to look at the graph. Now, from the graph, the highest temperature is 60. That is, the highest temperature from this graph is 60. And the day having that temperature is Thursday. So this means that the answer is Thursday. That is, the day having the highest temperature is Thursday. Now let's look at the option having Thursday. So from the graph, the day with the highest temperature is Thursday. And the correct option is option B, Thursday. So that is it on answering questions from the graph. You can see what you just need to do is Look at the graph, then pick the right answer. From this graph, there is no calculation needed. Just look at the graph and pick the right answer. So we move to the next question, question number 19. What is the product of 137 and 29? Remember, product means multiplication. So we have the options A, 4,000, B, 3,973. C, 3,890, D, 29,939, E, 15,999. 
Now let's perform our operation. Product. Product means multiplication. So we have 137 multiplied by 29. So we write it out in this form. 137 multiplied by 29. We multiply starting from the rightmost column. 9 multiplied by 7. That's 63. Write 3. Carry 6. 9 times 3. 27. 27 plus the 6 we carry. That is 33. So we write 3. We carry 3. 9 times 1. 9 plus 3. That is 12. So we move to the next number. 2 times 7. 14. Write 4. Carry 1. 2 times 3. 6 plus the 1 we carry. That is 7. 2 times 1. 2. After multiplication, we had our values. So when we add 3, there's nothing to add to 3 here, so we drop down 3. 3 plus 4, 7. 2 plus 7, 9. 1 plus 2, that is 3. So and our answer is 3,973 to be the product of 137 and 29. The correct option here is option B. 3973. You can see how simple it is to solve the question. What you need to know here is product means multiplication. And from there, the same way you multiply your small numbers is the same way you are going to multiply this number here. So we have the product of 137 and 29, and 29 to be 3973. Now, the next question, which is going to be the last question for this video. I hope you're following and you understand how we're solving the questions. Remember to always put down your question in the comment section in case you have any. And I am going to provide you the answer to your question. So, let's look at question number 20. In a class of 50 pupils, 70% passed the oral examination. How many pupils failed the examination? We have the options A, 10, B, 30, C, 15, D, 20, and E, 35. Now, from this question, in a class of 50 pupils, in a class of 50 pupils, 70% passed the examination, and we have to find how many pupils failed the examination. Now, since 70% passed, so it means 30% must have failed because in percentage there is 100%. Or if you don't want to look at it that way, you can say since 70% passed, how many students passed? That would be 70% of the number of pupils in the class. So we say number of pupils that pass equals 70% of the number of pupils in the class, which is 70% of 50. Now, if you do that, 70% is the same as saying 70 over 100 times of means times 50. We have 50. So from here, we can divide 0 cancel 0, 0 cancel 0. Now we have 7 times 5, which is 35 pupils. 7 times 5, which is 35. So, so that means number of pupils that passed is 35 pupils. So how many pupils failed? The number of pupils that failed equals the number of pupils in the class minus the number of pupils that passed. Minus the number of pupils that passed. So that is 50 minus 35, which is giving us 15. So it means 15 pupils failed the examination. So the correct option is option C. And that brings us to the end of today's section. Solving mathematics question. I'm sure it's quite fun All you need to do is to keep practicing so that mathematics will become more easy for you Please join our whatsapp channel to get access to all tutors If you have any questions, you can ask us through our whatsapp platform So you can see the link copy the link and join us on whatsapp So we we'll see in the next video. Bye